Guys, I could not be more excited to share with you the message that God has placed on my heart to share. It's the day before Thanksgiving, and I have got a word for you. My name is Jen Brooks from Anchored and Assured. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I share messages of God's truth and grace to help you anchor your identity in Christ. If that sounds something like you want more of, go ahead and take a second and hit that subscribe button. Now we're going to go ahead and jump in our focal text today, which is actually from Luke chapter 17. We're going to start in verse 11. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, 10 men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, master, have pity on us. We're going to stop right there and set the stage for what's happening with four points. Number one, there were 10 men, 10 men with leprosy, which was a very contagious disease. So it was not abnormal for them to be, number two, standing at a distance. They were far off from where Jesus was in terms of proximity. They were at a distance. So 10 men with leprosy at a distance, number three, calling out in a loud voice. They wanted to make sure Jesus heard them. And number four, they recognized Jesus as master and they recognized that he had the capacity and ability to help them. So here we have 10 desperate men that were calling out to Jesus from a distance for help. Let's see how this unfolds. When he, Jesus, saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Four more points. Number one, one man came back. One of the 10 men who stood at a distance came back to Jesus not just in close proximity, he fell at his feet. He came back close in a personal way, in a very intimate way. Once from afar and now very up close. Number two, as he approached, as he came back, he was once again calling out with a loud voice. Only this time, instead of that loud voice being one of petition and asking something of him, it was in praise. He was coming back and praising Jesus with a loud voice. Number three, he came back in a posture of worship as he fell at Jesus' feet. Number four, he thanked him for what he did. Now let's continue and read how Jesus responded. Jesus asked, were not all 10 cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except for this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go, your faith has made you well. Where are the other nine? Jesus recognized the one man who came back and he recognized that there were nine others that didn't. <laughs> you know what this tells us? Jesus delights when we come back to him in praise and thanks for what he has done. He recognizes it. He honors it. The distinguishing factor between that one man and the other nine was the posture of his heart posture of his heart enabled him not to just cry out in a loud voice when he needed something, but it drove him to come back with a loud voice to thank and praise his God. That really struck me today because I think of how often we can call out with a loud voice regarding our needs and what we want God to do and how desperately we need him. But I'm reminded today of the importance of coming back to him 
once from afar, but now coming back in a personal way to thank him and to worship him in a personal and intimate way. God sees the, the posture of our heart. He delights when we thank him and he recognizes it. So as we move into Thanksgiving, this day that's set aside, it's so easy for us to get preoccupied with turkey and family members and our to-do lists and what we have and don't have. But I encourage you and myself to emulate the one man who came back in a loud voice, who fell at Jesus' feet and who thanked him because every good and perfect thing we have is from his right hand. So let's move into Thanksgiving that desires to have a posture of praise and prayer throughout our day. And then let's hopefully carry that past that one 24 hour period of time of Thanksgiving. I just finished a blog post where I outlined the seven promises of God to cling to during difficult times. And I want you to, to check that out because there is a free downloadable printout for you to print out those promises, cut them out, put them on your uh, mirrors or wherever to be a constant reminder of God's promises. And I want to just extend that to you as a free token, just so you know how much I thank God for you. And I thank God for the gift of enabling me to present his truth to you because I truly do consider it an honor and a privilege to serve you here. I'm thankful for you. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your families. Love you.